I just want to show you guys a simple trick equation that I came up with for my pre-calculus and also my calculus 2 students. It's just about converting a polar coordinate to Cartesian, aka rectangular. So how did I come up with this? First off, when we have a polar coordinate, it has the angle, right? And when we have the angle, it usually has the pi, like pi over 2, pi over 3, and things like that. So let's take a look. Convert. Well, again, we have a polar coordinate. Here is r, here is theta. And I'm just going to put pi for the angle theta, OK? And I was thinking, wouldn't it be fun if I also make the r equal to pi as well? Yeah. So the question is, we are going to convert pi comma pi <laughs> to rectangular or to Cartesian. Same thing, meaning that we just want the point with x and y. <laughs> so let's see how we can do that. And it's actually very, very nice. We just have to plug this point, and you will see the answer right away. So here we go. OK, when we have a polar coordinate, the angle theta is pi, meaning that we start from here and we rotate pi radians, which is 180 degrees. So it's like this. So we are going to be looking at this direction. And then the r, which is pi, it means the distance that we go out from the origin. And because this is a positive pi, it means that we go forward. Sometimes you can have negative, and that means you just go backwards. So the pi right here just means that we are going to go out from here, pi units away. So that says like that. And again, this right here is pi units away from the origin. So that's where the point is. <laughs> and again, this right here is pi comma pi. But let's indicate that this is a polar coordinate. Yeah, because it's extremely confusing, right? Yeah, that's the point. OK, now, how can we get the Cartesian, meaning how can we get the x and y? Well. That's just the usual case. We went to the left pi units, so it will become negative pi for the x value. Now this is just the x value. And you see, we stay on the x-axis, so the y value will just be 0. And that's it. So ladies and gentlemen, the answer for this right here is just negative pi comma 0. So let me just put that down. And the deal is that we just have one answer, negative pi comma 0. You don't need, really need to use the formula, you could, but once you draw the picture, it's much more clear. And you think we are done? No. Because why don't we do it the other way around? Here we go. Let's take a look. What if we want to convert pi comma pi, but this time we want this to be rectangular? meaning Cartesian. So we have x and y. Convert this, of course, to polar. And when we are trying to get to the polar coordinate, of course, we have infinitely many answers. So it depends on how you want um, the students to answer. So I can say we want polar. And just to make this more fun, um, I will say with positive r but uh, negative theta, and we want the theta to be uh, in between of mm, 0 and, well, because it's negative, I'll put on negative 2 pi here and 0, like this, OK? So with this kind of condition, then you will be able to narrow down like, what kind of answer that you want. But again, the way to do this is just go ahead and plug this and see what happens. So this time, to plug pi comma pi, you do it the usual way. Let's say this right here is pi. So on the x-axis, and then let's say this right here is pi. So pi comma pi is this point, right, in the regular sense. So this is just pi comma pi. Cool. Now, to find <laughs> the polar coordinate, we need two things, angle and also the distance. We want the r to be positive. So let's take a look at the distance first, which is just from here to here. Well, in fact, this is just a 
45, 45, 90 special right triangle if you, you know, make the triangle. So you know the diagonal is just going to be square root of 2 times the other side. So this is just square root of 2 times pi. So that's all. Done. Now, what's the angle though? Well, as we said earlier, the angle is going to be 45, which is just pi over 4. Alright? So that's the angle. And again, we're just taking a look at a special right triangle like this. So, let's see though. This is not the answer because we want the angle to be in between of negative, pi, uh, negative 2 pi to 0. So what can we do? Just go ahead and turn the other way. So I'm actually just going to turn this way. I'll put this down in blue. So this is pi over 4. So if you want negative angle, you just start right here and you rotate clockwise the the whole thing is 2 pi but this much is pi over 4 so what we can do is just go ahead and do pi over 4 minus 2 pi and of course just go ahead and do the fractions on your own this is the same as negative 8 pi over 4 which is going to give us altogether negative 7 pi over 4 all right so this point as we said earlier, it was pi comma pi when we have x comma y. But this is actually the same as what we got over there, which is let me just let me just write down the answer here. Answer. We can also have the r is square root of two times pi. Maybe you want to put the pi in the front. That way, it's easier to see that the pi is 9 the square root. So this is the r, and the angle theta, what we want, is negative 7 pi over 4. And the reason that we use this one is because I have this condition, because otherwise you can have infinitely many different answers. Wow, look at that. Pi comma pi is so clean. But once you <laughs> take, a, take it to the polar coordinate, then that's what we get. Yeah, so pi comma pi can be very different. And you can also try the other questions, maybe like pi comma zero or pi comma negative pi, etc. And just play around. And yeah, let me know what you guys think. That's it.